In this video we'll briefly discuss what is diclofenac sodium and potassium. What it's used for, how it works, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions. Diclofenac is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. It decreases inflammation, pain and fever, through inhibition of cyclooxygenase activity and prostaglandin synthesis. It is available as sodium and potassium salts. The main difference is that diclofenac potassium has a faster onset of action, than diclofenac sodium. And that diclofenac sodium has a delayed onset, and a longer duration of action. It is available as 25, 50, 75 and 100 mg delayed release tablets, as sodium salt. And as 12.5, 25 and 50 mg tablets, as potassium salt. Also available as gel for topical use, ophthalmic solution, powder for oral suspension, injection and suppositories. It is used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, osteoarthritis. And potassium salt is approved for management of pain, and primary dysneuria, when prompt pain relief is needed. Ophthalmic solution is used in the treatment of postoperative inflammation after cataract removal. And the topical gel is used in the treatment of actinic keratosis, and arthritis pain. The usual dose of diclofenac for osteoarthritis, is 100 to 150 mg per day in divided doses. And for rheumatoid arthritis, 100 to 200 mg per day in divided doses. For ankylosing spondylitis, 100 to 125 mg per day in divided doses. For analgesia and primary dysmenorrhea, 50 mg of diclofenac potassium is used 3 times per day. May give initial dose of 100 mg if needed. Adverse effects include, allergic reactions, epigastric pain, peptic ulcer, hemorrhage, and renal impairment. It shouldn't be administered in case of hypersensitivity and cross-sensitivity with other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and aspirin, and also contraindicated in pregnancy. Tell patients to take medication with meals or food, to minimize gastric irritation. Advise patients to avoid alcohol, aspirin, and any other drugs that cause gastrointestinal irritation and bleeding. Avoid driving or performing other tasks requiring mental alertness, if drowsiness or dizziness happen. If patient is taking enteric coated form, caution about avoiding using antacids. Advise patients not to take over the counter analgesics while taking this medication. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.